treatment options. When you get very sick kidneys, you have to decide what to do. This story is in English, but you can get an interpreter to tell you the story in your language. Ask your doctor, nurse or health worker to get an interpreter for you. There might be someone in your community who can help you tell the story in your language or the Aboriginal Interpreter Service can find an interpreter for you. The number for Central Australia is 89515576. The number for the top end is 8999-8353. When you get very sick kidneys, you have to decide what to do. Your body cannot live long if your kidneys are sick. You need to have some medical treatment to feel better and stay alive. When your kidneys are sick, you should talk to your family and your health workers. There are good things you can do to slow down your kidney sickness and help your body. The good things you can do for sick kidneys are be active, eat healthy food, drink water, keep clean, take your medicines. Some things that will make your kidneys more sick. Don't do these things if your kidneys are sick. Smoke. Drink too much alcohol. Have sweet drinks. Eat salty foods. Eat fatty foods. Watch the chapters called Living with Kidney Disease and Diets and Kidney Disease to find out about how to slow down your kidney sickness Dialysis, the medical treatment for kidney disease when you get very sick kidneys is called dialysis. Dialysis cleans the waste from your blood when your kidneys are sick. You can have hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis. They are different treatments. Dialysis cleans the waste from your blood. It cannot fix your sick kidneys, but it can help you to live longer. Hemodialysis. The hemodialysis machine takes the waste and extra water and body salt from your blood. You will probably need to live in town to do hemodialysis. Some people learn how to use a machine by themselves or with their family. If there is a machine in your community, you can use that machine. Watch the chapter on hemodialysis to find out more. Peritoneal dialysis. Peritoneal dialysis is another way to clean your blood and help your sick kidneys. The short name for peritoneal dialysis is PD. PD cannot fix your sick kidneys. PD 
takes the waste out of your blood using water inside your peritoneal cavity. You can learn how to do PD in town. When you can do PD, you can go home and do it there. Watch the chapter on peritoneal dialysis to find out more. Kidney transplant. If you've been doing dialysis for some time, you may be able to get a kidney transplant. This means someone who has healthy kidneys gives you one of the kidneys. To get a kidney transplant, you have many health checks. If your body is healthy enough, you will go on a kidney transplant waiting list. This means you will wait until a kidney comes. The kidney doctor and nurse will tell you more about kidney transplants. There are kidney transplant nurses who help people get a kidney transplant. Palliative care. You do not have to do any of these things if your kidneys are sick. But when your kidneys get very sick, you will finish up. Doctors and nurses can help you before you finish up. They will give you medicine so you are not in pain. They will help your family too. This is called palliative care. You can finish up at home or in the hospital or at a special place near the hospital called the hospice. You can decide. You can talk to your family and health workers about what you want. Watch the chapter called Palliative Care to find out more. Advanced Care Directive Your doctor or nurse can help you write down what you want to do on a piece of paper called an Advanced Care Directive. This Advanced Care Directive paper